Hey, people, punch here. So I want to talk to you more about 1.4.8 and the rest of the stuff I didn't mention in my last video. The first thing is the watchtowers and hunt towers. The watchtowers you find across the area are in two locations in the Stillwater Bayou and one location in the Lost and Delta. The Stillwater Bayou Tower is be swamped between Pitch and Crematorium and Lock Bay Docks. The second area is Hill Slope North of Healing Waters. While the Lawson Delta Watchtower is top of the bunker between Sweet Bellflower and Fort Karmic. So if you're going to go to these locations, they're pretty specific and they're not many. Other than the hunt towers that you would normally find, maybe some of them might have other stuff. Like maybe another firearm or maybe some more health. The other thing they decided to do is add envelopes and small bags into the game. As well as trait charms. The envelopes contain 1000 Hunter XP. 500 bloodline XP and three to six upgrade points while the small bags contain 25 hunt dollars or three blood bonds The trait charms you see here kind of remind me of the dead by daylight totem That you would normally find to like rub it and it gives you something like a boon and this one gave me determination So if you find these across the map, you could also kill meatheads and they will drop them So if you want to get fanning or levering or something else, that's even great you could find that now. There's also blueprints across the map. So if you have a weak vitality shot and you're trying to get full bite shot, you'd have to go through the next stage. So that would be a weak stamina. And that would help out in progression to getting a weak or a full bite shot, full stam shot. Um, antidote shots, I'm assuming, were nerfed. Reduces the damage taken from poison based attacks, spider bounce, stings, and hive swarms. Poison Cloud damage remains unchanged and will reduce damage by 100%. They reworked the trait Ghoul. Killing Grunts at close range restores a small amount of health. And I'm going to assume with the range, it's probably going to be 10 to 15 meters. Anything past that, and you won't get any change. But if you get up real close to them, you could see that you get between 5 or 10 HP. So what you could do, instead of shooting them like I'm doing to see how far you could shoot them, you could just knife them or kill them with a bomb lance and get a shit ton of health that way. And the trait, it's seven skill points. It's not four anymore. They also changed the way banishing a boss is done. Not like in the sense of banishing it, but more like what you get back when you banish. Normally you get 50 HP or 50 uh, health back. Now you get all your health back. Your dark sight boost when you pick up the bounty. Investigating a clue while carrying a bounty token will now restore one second of dark sight boost. And they're doing this because they want to encourage people to run the gauntlet more. While the extraction points were changed. Changes made to ensure that all extraction points will not spawn next to each other. One extraction point will always be at least 500 meters away from the other two. And last but not least, leaderboards. And that is... You have to be logged in within the last 30 days, have at least 100 kills in quick play, or 100 kills or assists in bounty hunt. Didn't opt out from showing their stats publicly, not banned, and played at least 50 hours. So there you go, guys and gals. I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And if you didn't check me out, check me out on Twitch at PunchOutTV. See you all later.